I just got ready and time to go to the pumpkin patch. I have Elena's things here. Um, and I was actually going to wear a, a long sleeve dress, but because it's 90 today, not the best day to wear flannel and not the best day to wear long sleeve. I decided to go with this shirt here. I have some shorts and a small booty, um, but it was sunny all day and it just started raining. So let's hope that um, by the time we get to the farm, it's no longer raining. So yeah, I'll try to take you along with us. I know there will be some um, kids from the daycare, so I don't know how much footage I'll be able to take, but um, like I mentioned to you guys, I, I respect people's privacy and people not wanting to be filmed. So I'll try to take some clips of Elena and I. Um, she is also going, so maybe she would want to go on camera, but if not, it would just be Elena and I. So I'll see you there and let's go. We just got to the farm and I was just watching a little bit of YouTube, but it turned out that it didn't even rain here. I don't know if you can see, but no rain. So that's a good thing because I thought we were going to be filled with like mud all over our shoes. So good, good. We'll be able to enjoy the farm. are honey crisp apples and they just have the best selection for harvest. Elena and I had such a fun time. I will later on in this video be baking an apple pie for the first time ever so if you're interested on the recipe make sure to continue watching the video as well as check out the description box below for information on the recipe and all the details for the lookout farm. baking pies but overall the Pillsbury crust just did the job for me um, it was easy to maneuver and it didn't like create holes or anything as I was placing it on the dish and as well as when I was removing it once the pie was ready so if you are new at it and you want to give it a try go to your um, like yogurt section it might be placed there they have muffins, they have um, biscuits, they have all sorts of pre-made uh, crust and dough. And this one didn't disappoint.
this pie was so delicious i ended up having two slices with ice cream and i will do this any day i actually think i might do one of these pies for like thanksgiving um, I haven't yet baked my pumpkin pie, so we'll see who wins, if it's the apple pie or the pumpkin pie. But leave any suggestions uh, for future recipes down below um, because I want to do lots of fall baking. Guys, it's now the next day and I've been doing this new treatment with Threatnoin from Obagi. Threatnoin, Threatnoin, I don't know how to say the word, but I've started not too long ago and it's working wonders. I sometimes get some dry skin, it starts to peel, but it's going well. I've just applied my Image Skincare 30 SPF um, moisturizer and we'll start the day by going to the grocery store. Oh my God, my hair is falling so much. I literally, like every time that I not the greatest camera angle but anyways every time that i touch my hair new strands fall and it's kind of making me panic <sighs> oh my god hormones anyways we're gonna go to the grocery store buy some groceries and then we're going to be back to the house to get some home stuff done this is some dirty dishes i need to put away the clean dishes I need to fold Elena's laundry and when we come back we'll have groceries and we'll put them away. delicious Nani's lemon biscotti but before I do let me show you some new additions to the living room because I switched the um, cushions from the couch now this one was already here I actually need to find a better one just because this one like you see the the feathers keep coming out and sometimes they stick us but I think I want to go for something similar I just don't want the feathers to keep coming out um, and then I added these plaid um, cushions from Target. I really love how the front is plaid and the back is striped because this could easily be a good um, pattern for the summer. But this one here goes so well with the um, fall winter months. Um, this is also from Target. I'll try to find the links for them and leave it down in the description box below. Super, super comfortable. Um, and I think it just went super well with the color scheme that we're going. This one was already here. I kept it just because I couldn't find a cushion for the middle and it was missing something. So I decided to just keep this one for now until I find a better one, but it's um, it has texture to it. So that's why I kept it. And then on this side, I placed this one as well. And yeah, and then here I added this candle it's autumn woods i actually already lit um and this here but yeah so it's now looking a little bit more autumnal which i love and it's just tying in everything that i have going on in the living room i have to get ready for work but before i put these away i just wanted to show you what i bought for you know the next couple of days nice. <laughs> Oh, you want, you want more raspberry? Okay. Here. Oh. 
Mm, you're welcome. So let me try to go as fast as I can. Some uh, meat for us to cook the next couple of days. I think I mentioned today's Friday, by the way. So I don't cook on the weekend, but you know, just in case I feel like it. Some um, chicken tenders and ground beef. I usually uh, cook the beans and store it on the refrigerator, but in the freezer, but I like having some of these handy in case I, I run out. Um, some cream cheese, feta cheese. This is the fat-free version. Great for like uh, late night snacks and in the morning with um, eggs. <laughs> um, some cherry tomatoes, antipasto. I love this um, cranberry cinnamon cheese, especially in the winters and in, in like fall season. It's so yummy. Um, I came across these pizzanatas, cheese and uncured pepperoni. Oh wait. What? You want more? Oh no! What is this? Oh god, I need to clean that up. Um, these cran nut mix. These are snacks. Um, I bought the raspberries and the blackberries. Now, Stop and Shop had a great deal, which was buy one, get one free. And sometimes I like buying the bagels so that I can put one in the freezer and then eat one. So I got these Panera Bread cinnamon swirl bagels. And then I got, since you could buy one and get another one free, I bought this um, Baker's Oats and the the um, English muffin. So I'll put some of this in the freezer and some in the fridge. Then I also bought the whole wheat um, wraps that I usually use for my um, lunch burritos. Uh, now in fall season, I got this pumpkin spice roll. I've never had it, so we'll see if it's good. Uh, some apple crisp, mi apple crisp mix. I think you just add butter and a couple of other things and you're all set for that. Um, some biscotti for tea time in the afternoon. I'm gonna see if Elena likes these because she's been not good. Oh no, 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 baby. You have to put it in the fridge. Oh God. Um, peanut butter cookies, some ham and cheese. Now these I've tried not that long ago and I loved it. Put to warm it up, on, you put on the on top of the cup. So I bought a couple more. Now, I always struggle taking milk when we go out because I keep my milk in the fridge. So I, I'm afraid that it's going to go bad. This time I bought these um, like single packs that are not going in the fridge. They stay outside so that if I need to um, go out with Elena or if she goes to her grandmother's, I can send a bunch of these and not feel bad if it's not being frozen and not feel worried of it being spoiled. Um, my favorite passion fruit juice, my favorite coffee, which is Postello. Oh, wait, here, here's the dinosaur. Some um, brownies for her. And then I like having these in the frizz, freezer just in case we want some snack at late at night um, on the weekend or so. So yeah, this is all that we have for the grocery haul.